everyone, my name is Bailey. I am a psychology major at the University of Wisconsin Green Bay. I'm going to school to be either a mental health counselor or a social worker. A few fun facts about me are that I love to swim, I love to be outside in the sun, especially in the summer, and I have a boxer named Callie. She's a little over one years old. She loves to play and give me lots of kisses. Today, I am going to show you step-by-step step how to make the delicious snack known as donut apples. This is what they will look like in the end. Yummy. Um, they are semi-healthy and sweet all in one. The recipe that I'm gonna show you today can make about 15 donut apples, but I'm gonna cut my recipe in half just so you can see how to make them. So the ingredients that you will need is three, uh, 12 ounces of cream cheese, softened, cut into thirds, as you can see, I already did that for you. You're gonna need two teaspoons of honey, which I have measured out. You're gonna need a half cup of melted chocolate, which again, I melted for you. You're gonna need two drops of pink or red food coloring. It really doesn't matter which one you use. You're gonna need three apples, but for mine, again, I am only using about an apple or apple and a half. I already have some cut up for you, as you can see. And then the last thing is your toppings, the most important part. You're gonna need either sprinkles or you can use strawberries, you can use chocolate chips, anything you'd want to top the apples to make it more delicious. So let's get started on how you make this. First, you're gonna divide the cream cheese into three separate bowls, again, as I did, which I already prepared one of them for you. Then you, so in the first bowl, you are going to have the cream cheese and then you're gonna add in one of the teaspoons of honey, which I did, so that one's all set. In the second bowl, you're gonna add the other teaspoon of honey. Make sure to get all of it out there. And then your two drops of red food coloring. Okay, make sure this was opened. And then this one is all set. Mix this up. And to make it easier to mix, you might need to put the cream cheese in the microwave for about 15 seconds just to soften it a little. That's what I had to do at least. And then, so that's pretty much all mixed. It's pretty good. And then in your third bowl, you're gonna add the melted chocolate. Trying to get all of it out here. That's good. And you're gonna mix this one up. And this bowl does not require any honey. It's only the one with the plain cream cheese and the bowl with the red or pink food coloring. Let's try to get all of this nice and brown chocolate topping. Yeah. Definitely recommend putting the cream cheese in the microwave. Okay, then after you have all of those set up and stir, you're gonna come grab your apple or apples and you're gonna cut them into slices. The only thing I recommend is you're gonna probably need a knife for this, a sharper knife, not a butter knife. And you might need some parental guidance to help you cut. So you're gonna take the apple, cut the little end off, and then you want them to be pretty thin so that you can make a hole through them. Nice and slow. And then to make a hole in the center to actually make the donut, you could use either a biscuit cutter or a cookie cutter, but today I do not have any of those. So I'm gonna use this fun little thing and just put that in there and pop out the center. And there we go. We have a little donut apple. So I'll put that one there and I'll just show you one more time what to do so you can see. Pretty easy, but like I said, I recommend getting a parent to help you cut the apples. Cut this. There we go. And again, put this down to make the center. Oh, and that one came right out. Perfect. And there you have 
your plate of apples. I'm gonna move all this aside to get it out of the way. And now the fun part, decorating the apples. So I already had one with the regular cream cheese and honey. Let's take one with the red food coloring. Just make sure this is mixing good enough. And before you do add the toppings, because the apples are a little moist after you cut them, to make the cream cheese stick, you might want to take a piece of paper towel and just dab it on top of the apple, and that will make the cream cheese stick better. Just so it doesn't fall off. And so you get all of it that you need. And you can put as little or as much on here that you want. So there's one. And we'll take this and do another one with the chocolate. I'm sorry I'm not a pro baker. <laughs> This one's having a little harder time sticking, but we'll make it work. Okay, a little more. As you can see, it's a little messy, but not too bad. It's worth it in the end, I think. Mmm, delicious. And then, the last one. So then, for your toppings, I'm just gonna use sprinkles today, but like I said, you can use strawberries, chocolate chips, granola pieces, any of that. I'm just gonna sprinkle some on there. I got little sprinkles too, these little ones. And there you go, we got three different ones. So I'll just do two more apples if I don't make a mess here. Just do one more so you can see what it looks like again. Like I said, pretty easy and this this treat is healthy. Oh boy. And sweet all at the same time. And then you just take your sprinkles and there you go. So that's it. I hope you enjoy this easy snack. It takes about 10 minutes to make and well, I might as well try one for you to see how they taste. Hmm, that's actually really good. I've never had that before. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye!